Can you describe your partnership with the Manitoba Native Federation? Yeah, we, uh, last fall we entered into an agreement after about a year and a half of uh, discussion and negotiation between the, the Métis Federation, the province of Manitoba, and Manitoba Hydro. And it's, uh, we call it the turning the page agreement. It's, um, it's a relationship agreement that addresses uh, some of the past historic effects of, of uh, Manitoba Hydro operations on Métis communities. Uh, it deals with um, provide the, the Métis uh, providing support for the continuation of our existing operations and relicensing, support for the Kiosk Generating Station project and, uh, and the Bipole 3 project. And as, as part of that, the, the Métis Federation has a, a clearing contract for about 200 kilometres of of the right of way uh, on on the Bipole Three project, which is a significant uh, initiative for the Métis and and for Manitoba Hydro, uh, but moreover, it's it's a, it's a means by which. Uh, we're providing some funding uh, over a 20-year period to the Métis Federation um, that will allow them to pursue economic development activities. It, it helps to fund a liaison position that's been in place uh, for a, 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 an MMF person to work with, with Manitoba Hydro to identify opportunities, uh, business-related opportunities uh, for us to work together. And, uh, and to address issues of mutual concern as we move forward. So it's a pretty comprehensive agreement. Uh, what are the advantages for working with Métis? Well, Manitoba Hydro has had a policy uh, for quite some time now of, of working with uh, local communities uh, and, and people around the province um, where our operations come into contact with them. I mean, every, every person in Manitoba is a customer of ours, but um, a lot of the resources that we're blessed with in Manitoba are in remote areas. I mean, the rivers uh, where we generate the vast majority of the power that we produce are in the north. Um, we need to connect that power down south to our load center and to our export customers and that requires transmission infrastructure um, and uh, there are many Métis people that live in, in uh, not just the urban centers but in, in, uh, in, in remote areas around the province and our infrastructure goes through or near those communities. So. Uh, it's an opportunity to Manitoba Hydro, as part of its corporate purposes, uh, has an interest in economic development in the province, and uh, as they say, a rising, a rising tide floats all boats. So, uh, by us engaging with with the Métis and other Aboriginal communities uh, around the province, it's a it's a means by which uh, everyone can benefit across the province from from our activities as a corporation. Yeah, I mean, uh, th th there's some some outright benefits in terms of there's a funding arrangement where we're providing a million dollars a year over the next 20 years and some upfront funding, as I said, and, and support for the liaison position. Um, we're looking at sharing information through that process on, on new economic development op opportunities. Um, the clearing contract, which is a, is a significant piece of work, and uh, as we heard earlier this morning in, in the session, uh, there's currently about 80 people employed on that project and support services for that project. But we're doing, uh, you know, we're not just doing the Bipole 3 project, we're, we're doing work, um, we're, we're planning to build a, a transmission line uh, to, to Minnesota uh, that's going to, to uh, uh, be constructed between Winnipeg and Duluth, Minnesota. So uh, we'll be engaging with, with the Métis Federation and, and other affected parties on, on uh, that development. And, and again, we are, our uh, capital spending in the province is on the order of one and a half billion dollars a year. Um, we have uh, agreements in place to promote uh, the training and employment of, uh, we have targeted employment numbers for Métis people coming um, that we had negotiated previously with the MMF and we're making good progress towards that and, and um, about 18% of 
my workforce at Manitoba Hydro, which is about 6,400 people, are Aboriginal. About two thirds of those are Métis people. So um, we've uh, we've we've grown that by about 200 uh, percent in the last decade. So it's to me that's a success, and and we want to continue to build on that success. I'm, I'm just very pleased to be here for the forum today. Um, uh, I think that there's there's some some good work that's going on, and it will it will uh, be picked up next week in the national forum. So, um, again, I've uh, I've enjoyed my working relationship over the past three years with with the MMF, and certainly uh, I've gotten to know President Chartrand a lot better over the last year and a half, leading up to the conclusion of our agreement. So, I'm um, looking forward to better things to come. Thank so. you so much. Thanks. <laughs>